Kevin Grant from Ataraxia Wines in the Himalada Ridge area of the Himalada area. And uh, Ataraxia has been in existence since 2005. And since then, up to this very present day, we are still in the business of adding value to people's lives to the wines that we create. These are the heroes of what we are about. These the soils that we grow our wines on. So in essence, I now realize that I'm actually a soil farmer more than being a winemaker or a viticulturist. Such is the importance I attach to soils and their ability to actually um, express themselves through a vehicle that is a grapevine or a grape variety into a bottled form. So hopefully, you know, when, when we drink a bottle of Ataraxia, it's more about drinking our dirt uh, and our soils than it is about drinking a specific variety. So the French have got a wonderful word for that. They call them vin de terroirs. So in this sense, I would say I'm a soil farmer, yes, but also a terrorist. So that's my first confession, is uh, being a terrorist. And so for me, it's so important that when they eventually do open a bottle of Ataraxia, having been here, they relive that experience of having been on the farm. about Ataraxia's wines, Kimmel Ardo wines and South African wines in general is that we're able to sort of um, give the world the best of both the old world and the new world. So the, the refinement and the elegance of the old world yet with a much more elevated fruit component uh, to the wines that you would get necessarily in Europe and so on. And what I have to keep reminding myself is that nobody on the entire planet as exactly my combination of slopes, my site, my address. The space is very unique, the ours. And so our job is to continue to refine that expression. Mm -hmm.